FIFA 23 brought a lot of necessary changes to the franchise that took the series to the next level and gave the fans a lot of hope with the upcoming eSports FIFA split. With all the welcome additions, such as improvements to some game modes, new game mechanics like power shooting, and better physics during the match, there were still some parts of the game that needed improvement. In particular, FIFA 23's player career mode has many elements that take away from the promised realism of the game or don't give players enough time to enjoy the game mode. Player career mode has been a mainstay of FIFA games since its introduction in FIFA 8 offering fans a unique experience as they navigate the career of a created or existing player. The game mode has gone through many changes since its inception, evolving from a fun game mode to play between regular career mode playthroughs to one of the most played game modes in the series. With eSports FC promising to usher in a new era and FIFA preparing to release a new game following the split of eSports, fans are hoping that the next batch of games will feature even more improvements to the player career mode. Formation must not increase the status of the team. In FIFA 23, training has a large impact on player status within the squad, allowing a created player to instantly earn a starting place. While this would work if the player was in a lower league, and higher leagues players created since the 1970s may not be selected over higher-ranked players, fixing this will not only make it more difficult to break into the first team, but it will also take a little longer to progress to the top. Instead of placing so much emphasis on training, Esports FC and future FIFA titles should place more emphasis on performance and match consistency. Training can still play a part in temporarily improving some ratings in the next game. But this shouldn't affect a player's position in a squad. Formation can still get points for leveling, but shouldn't give too many to avoid extremely fast leveling. Upgrade system broken. One of the biggest issues with FIFA 23's career mode is how quickly players can level up through training game performance, and even purchases and investments. These development methods along with skill trees allow players to reach max level within a few seasons and in some cases cap the overall player rating in the mid-80 seconds. This prevents created players from becoming the one of the best in the world, and after reaching the maximum level, there is no possibility for the player to improve further. While the skill tree was a good successor to the previous leveling method, which involved completing specific goals to improve specific skills, it made the player's career experience much more unrealistic. Esports FC and future FIFA titles should focus on providing players with a combination of the two, where players can significantly improve some skills using a skill tree, but most small upgrades come from good performance and focus on achieving capacity goals. Additionally, the removal of the tier cap means fans can grow their players into highly rated superstars, and ensuring skill development takes time forces fans to play the same career for many seasons. Realistic start FIFA 23's player career mode allows fans to create any player and place them on any team in the world world, allowing them to play through the game mode as they please. Sadly, that's not very realistic and instead the next eSports FC would have to force players to start at an academy, work their way up to the youth team before impressing enough to make it to the creation of the first team. Not only does this progression give fans more to do, but it also gives them a more realistic journey through the player's career playthroughs. A great way to give players a quick way to level up or provide a more challenging experience would be to include player archetypes. These would give players some boosts early on, for example one prodigy archetype might start out with better stats but a higher return expectation, while another might make it harder to get noticed. Seeing how player career modes are treated in games like Madden, where new players start their college careers before reaching the draft, eSports FC could see players starting outside of the pro leagues and trying to break into the scene. The legendary partnership between eSports and FIFA has finally come to an end with the release of FIFA 23, which means that next year fans will be able to play the first football released exclusively by eSports, eSports FC. With player career mode becoming such a popular game mode, eSports will need to do everything possible to ensure that this iteration of this game mode improves upon its predecessors. As it stands, there are still a lot of issues in FIFA 23's player career mode, but it has the potential to give fans a realistic experience of the life of a professional footballer. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and support my channel.